Welcome back to another edition of Fan Cam Commentary, guys. Um, we're going to be looking at another exploding FMW barbed wire death match today. Um, I thought I would throw one more in the midst. This is going to be dropping on the day that F uh, AEW is going to be having their explosion barbed wire death match uh, with John Moxley and Kenny Omega. Um, my channel's been doing pretty good with some of these videos that I have um, from, a, from a, a, a releasing, excuse me, from releasing to Monita and Hunter Marshall and Dressler matches uh, so I thought I would take advantage and maybe do one more here um, might be a while before I do do any for a minute just because uh, you know they've been so popular here as, as well I want to hit one more but uh, today we got Misato Tanaka and Hayabusa versus Mr. Pogo and the legendary Terry Funk in FMW, and I believe this is from 96, if I'm not mistaken. And this is a two sides electrified barbed wire match. On two sides of the ring, we have nothing which leads to pits of death, which has barbed wire and explosives on the floor. And this is also a time bomb death match, where there was a time where Terry Funk took a little slip there early. Uh, also tornado style rules of course um, but there is a time limit and if the wrestlers do not complete the match in a certain amount of time the entire ring in the surrounding area will explode um, I've had one of these matches shown before on, on this channel and this is sort of what we're going get to get today if you're watching this um, you probably you know if you're going to tune into AEW's revolution pay-per-view and you're, you, you see their match I think they're going to have ring ropes up with barbed wire on it with triggers the explosion triggers on those ropes but also on the floor there will be pits and one side will be completely empty which will be from the stage and I kind of like the idea of the setup at first I was kind of frowning upon it um, I wanted the of course no rope barbed wire electrified version that we get here but what they have going I think is going to be pretty cool and it's unique to themselves as well as you can see Terry Funk and Sabu fighting on the edge there as you can see, there's a good shot of the uh, barbed wire, pit of hell, explosions, a weight on the floor for any man that wants to, you know, throw another man into that. There you can see the time limit. I guess the time limit was 15 minutes. So once they hit zero, folks, we will have uh, uh, an overall explosion from all around the ring. Uh, it's a pretty cool visual. If you've never seen that, you know, welcome to FMW. Death matches. Is they're pretty unique. You can see Mr. Pogo and Masato Tanaka. Pogo laying down. Very dangerous to be even collar and elbow tying up here. You know, a lot of times wrestlers would like to roll into the ropes, try to get a different bit, a little bit of leverage. That's no case here. Um, that's one thing that will be interesting in the match with Moxley and Omega, I feel. They're going to have one set of ropes that are completely regular, and they'll be able to do move sets off of those ropes still. Um, the guys here are extremely limited, and you have a guy like Hayabusa, who is a high flyer, who, you know, half of his, uh, oh, big spinning wheel kick right in the face as Terry Funk decides to take a bump the other way instead of the wire, uh, flipping sunset, sunset flip, Sinton there, two count by Hayabusa, but, you know, someone like Hayabusa's, half of their repertoire, half of their moveset is, you know, taken down just because there's no ropes here. Well, we got a suplex next to the one of the pits here. As it looks like Tanaka is going to try to suplex Mr. Pogo. You know, Mr. Pogo uh, has appeared on the channel before. Uh, Terry Funk's appeared on the channel before. Hayabusa, I believe, has also appeared on the channel before. And Tanaka, so no, no stranger to the fan cam commentary audience if you're familiar with any of the matches I've shown with any of these gentlemen. Uh, as Terry Funk is now trying to get Hayabusa into the wire and just can't. Like, again, you know, Hayabusa, one of the, oh man, kind of reversed out of it. Now he's got Funk in a precarious position here. Funk just like using the ring ropes to the side of the ring, getting dangerously close though to the wire and possibly the triggers that would be an explosion in his face. See, Mr. Pogo just going to Irish whip. Referee almost caught up in the action there. Getting out of the way. Dangerous to be a referee in one of these matches. Uh, I'm interested to see who's going to be refereeing the match on Sunday or today uh, at Revolution at AEW. Maybe it'll be R Bryce Rimsburg. I was hoping they would bring in uh, Onita. Of course, on uh, the, the last episode of Dynamite, they had uh, a, the package that was showing uh, the clips leading up to Moxley and Omega. Uh, Onita basically gave his praise 
and uh, has even said on Twitter that he thinks that they'll do a good job. So I'm, I'm, I was hoping that they would actually fly him in. I'm not sure if that was possible with the way things are right now with the pandemic, but big DDT by Masato Tanaka. We got a pinfall, one, two, two count by Masato Tanaka. And I believe that was an arm breaker there, maybe a shoulder breaker by Mr. Pogo onto Hayabusa. Of course, we lost Mr. Pogo a couple of years ago. Uh, Hayabusa, we lost him a couple of years ago, sadly. Uh, of course, a terrible accident in the ring. I mean, that's a ring. Um, in the early 2000s, I'm not mistaken, he broke his neck and uh, never wrestled again. Um, and then Terry Funk still kicking uh, in Texas. He hasn't wrestled in a minute, but it's only been a minute. He's had a lot of matches even after this. And retired numerous more times. Uh, the absolute icon of especially death, you know, hardcore wrestling, if anything. It's big DDT there. Missed it, but he was delivering a DDT to Tanaka. And Tanaka is still an active wrestler. You know, in the past when I've uh, talked about Masato Tanaka, it blows my mind that he's still doing the things that he does today with the career that he held. Uh, one of the episodes a couple of weeks back, I had Mike Awesome and Masato Tanaka an episode from FMW. And, you know, they, they just ripped each other apart in the unprotected chair shots that Masato Tanaka would take. I tell you, it's, it's insane. He looks good today, too. Mr. Pogo is trying to wear him down with these repeated headbutts to whip him into the wire. Do we have the first explosion? No. Pogo putting the brakes on. Drop kick. Yes. Oh, no. Again, close. Pogo not going into the wire. I thought that was it. Masato Tanaka dives into the wire. First explosion from Masato Tanaka as he tries to splash Pogo into the wire. And he moves out of the way and gets burnt himself into the ex electrified wire. Filling it for the first time in this match, Masato Tanaka. You know, who knows what kind of weapons, Mr. Ah, as I speak, Mr. Pogo, I was about to say, who knows what kind of weapons he's going to bring out. And as he does, he brings out one of those sickles with a chain attached to it. Uh, Mr. Pogo, known for various weapons, he loved to throw fireballs. And he's just going to dig into the collarbone of Masato Tanaka. And you see Terry Funk's got a chair here wearing out the legs of Hayabusa, which is smart. I mean, not that he can do any major high-flying moves, but he, he's still taking out a lot of his, uh, you know, if you can see he's doing the the uh, spin wheel kicks and whatnot. He still uses his legs pretty often. Very smart. You know, even if he didn't do his moves, it's smart to work on a wrestler's legs. If he doesn't have any wheels, what's he going to do? And Terry Funk is just wearing him out. Calling for a spinning toe hold after all those chair shots to the leg. Ah, Hayabusa kicking out of that smartly. Uh, that could have been a submission attempt there. As these guys, again, as a reminder, count down for an overall explosion. Oh, sickle to the stomach by Pogo. Uh, thanks for joining me today, guys. Please subscribe, uh, like, click that bell for future notifications when I drop content. Uh, please leave a content, contents or uh, contents, excuse me. Please leave a comment. I've said that a million times. I think I'd have that down by now. Uh, leave a comment, please. Comments are so important on YouTube. Uh, helps within the algorithm. Uh, the likes do as well. Uh, leave a comment and let me know what you think of FMW and death matches and what you think of this match in particular. Uh, let me know what you may want to see in the future, a promotion, a wrestler. Um, then I'll see what I can do to work it in. As you can see, Mr. Pogo just ripping at the flesh now with almost just like a blade as he's uh, digging at his own cut there. Funk bleeding as well as he's choking Hayabusa. But yeah, comments are so important on YouTube. Please, if you're hearing this now, comment anything. Um, please go check out my Facebook page uh, on, on Facebook if you search fan cam commentary you'll, you'll find a page on there um, continue, continuing to grow and I actually drop daily content on there and exclusive content on Facebook that isn't on YouTube uh, full matches um, a lot more of the fan cam watch alongs where me and a guest watch a show or wrestling match um, on Friday the last one dropped with a uh, with 
Matt Klein from the Arson Brothers um, as we watched an old Wrestle, uh, WCW Wrestle War 92 match. Uh, it's just a fun show. Please go check that out. Like, follow that page as well, please. Double DDT by Hayabusa and Masato Tanaka. Another, oh no, they're going to try to drop Terry Funk onto the wire here. I think they're going to do it. Yes! Oh! Right into one of the explosions on one of the hips of Terry Funk there as he's just dangling in the barbed wire. Wow, what a match. And he's kind of hung up there. He, oh, man. Terry Funk hung up in the wire as now Hayabusa and Masato Tanaka are going to look to Mr. Pogo. One side of the wire has not even been touched yet. Oh, okay. Double team maneuver by Masato Tanaka and Hayabusa. Uh, able to get Hayabusa a little bit of air there with a drop kick onto Pogo. And hitting a moonsault there. One, two, two count. Kicking out. That time, I want to get a time. Oh, check there again. As I said it, four minutes and 50 seconds until this whole place is going to blow up. It's like a war zone. And as you can see, the lights around the ring have started to, there's little, um, there's, as you can see, they're blinking there. Uh, and, a, and a siren going on as if there's a tornado coming. But what's coming is an explosion, folks. And they're warning these wrestlers that they have a minimum amount of time, under five minutes now. But you can see the cuts on the body of Masato Tanaka. They're going to try to just launch Mr. Pogo into the pit. Oh, no. Terry Funk stopping them. I believe he's got his classic branding iron. Just delivering blows onto Tanaka. The siren just blaring here. I have a feeling we're going to get a lot of explosions in a quick succession here. As uh, Mr. Pogo set up a fireball, I believe. He's asking for a lighter. And he's got the alcohol. And who's he going to hit here? Oh, dousing Masato Tanaka in alcohol as he takes a swing. Oh, no. Okay. Thank God. Hayabusa as they both roll into the pit. Big explosion on one side of the ring. Hayabusa, Mr. Pogo both go into one of the double hells outside of the ring. As the smoke fills the air, we got Masato Tanaka delivering his own finisher. Terry Funk's own move, a spinning toehold, the move he won the NWA World Heavyweight Championship with. As the referee is checking him again as the countdown continues, folks. This whole place is going to explode. The entire outside ring, if you do not get away, the whole thing is going to explode. Hayabusa making his way back into the ring as Mr. Pogo still feeling the effects. Oh no, Hayabusa taking a run and a dive and delivering a clothesline to Mr. Pogo outside and jumping the entire hit. Hell, pit of hell. Let's get a time check here, folks. We gotta be here within two minutes, I would say, of, an ex of a, a huge explosion. Mr. Pogo getting thrown back into the ring by Hayabusa as all four competitors are in the middle of the ring here. And we're going to get a suplex, maybe a falcon arrow. No, can't get. Uh, he's going to try again. Yes! Delivering a falcon arrow. One, two, two. Oh, two count. As Terry Funk breaks it up with a chair shot to the back. Oh, Tanaka coming in, trying to protect Hayabusa. He's going to do the his, one of his favorite moves, the tornado DDT off the chair to Terry Funk. One, two, two count, the continued countdown until there is gonna be a massive explosion. You can see the wind blowing in the hair of Hayabusa. These matches have to be held outdoors. Oh, power bomb. And as you can see, he kind of buckled down there in a basement drop kick by Pogo to break it up on the Tanaka. Didn't get all of that power bomb either as Hayabusa's legs buckled under him. Get a shot of that clock, folks. I don't know the time here. It's going to be any minute, any second. This whole place is going to explode. All four competitors still just raining blows on each other. Hayabusa's maybe felt most of the effects. As you can see, these two, Funk, Tanaka, just clubbering each other in the middle of the ring. The Crimson Masks. I think Mr. Pogo is going to try to throw Hayabusa into the wire here. On the opposite side, I don't think that side's even been touched. 
Small package by Tanaka. Two, two count. Could not get Funk as these guys continue to count down. I mean, kick out during the countdown. Excuse me. That siren's starting to down, die down here, folks. We're going to get a big explosion any second here as the fans are anticipating it. FMW style deathmatch is my favorite type of deathmatch. Oh, headbutt by Funk. Headbutt. He's going to choke slam. Tanaka down into a pit. Ladies and gentlemen, Masato Tanaka fills one of the pits as the smoke again. Oh, I think Funk fell in as well. Both men just raining right on the side of the ring where this whole place is going to blow any minute. And a body slam into the other side of the wire. Oh, my God. Hayabusa body slam, power slam by Pogo right to the middle. As he's in the middle, we got a big explosion. Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, listen to the crowd. Hayabusa, look at the birds and the cuts on his body. He was right on the edge of the ring where the explosions happened. Masato Tanaka and Terry Funk were outside around the ring as well. Masato can't even pull himself up into the ring. Mr. Pogo might have had the safest spot in the middle of the ring. Wow. As you can see, the smoke still billowing out of this place. What a match. Nothing like this environment, folks. If AEW can capture a speck of this, I think it'll be entertaining. But man, I hope they go full FMW with this death match. These explosions are insane. Masato Tanaka still trying to pull himself up into the ring. And Funk, chair shot to the chest and face for his efforts. As they're trying to get Hayabusa, who has again felt most of the brunt of this match and then maybe the most of the brunt of that explosion. Alone in the ring. As we're going to get maybe one of the classic Funk pile drivers. Yes, pile driver by Terry Funk. One, two. Two count, Hayabusa continues to kick out, folks. Again, if you're enjoying this content, please, again, click that bell, subscribe, like, YouTube. I'm here every Sunday and Wednesday. Rewind Wednesday drops every morning at 11 a.m., a classic match with no commentary. Uh, by me, that is. Uh, Sunday is the matches that drop with commentary like this. A pile driver on the chair by Funk. Every Sunday. One, two, two count again by Hayabusa, who gets a shoulder up. Funk getting frustrated here. What's it going to take to put him away? Masato Tanaka still can't get into the ring. And Mr. Pogo, I think he's got fire again in his hand. He's trying to light a chair on fire. He does indeed. We have a chair lit on fire, folks, in the middle of the ring. They're lifting Hayabusa up. They're going to try to plant Hayabusa into this flaming chair, folks, with a double bulldog. Yes! I think he got hit in the stomach there. They managed to bulldog him, and he got hit right in the stomach with the flames, and that's got to be it. One, two, two count again. Hayabusa refuses to stay down. Hayabusa, no stranger to these types of matches. None of these men are strangers to a death match of this caliber. Oh, another fireball in the face of Masato Tanaka, keeping him outside the ring in a pit, a pit of hell. And we're going to get a double fireball here, I believe by Funkin Pogo, as he's trying to light up his branding iron. They're both taking a swig of alcohol. And Hayabusa, double fireballs and catches the head and back and singes the hair of Hayabusa. That's got to be it. Hayabusa, stay down for your own good. Lifting Hayabusa up again or trying to. And we're going to get another double team maneuver, a double power bomb. That's got to be it. One, two, three. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the winners of this match, Terry Funk and Mr. Pogo, putting away Masato Tanaka and Hayabusa. What a match, folks. Thank you for joining me. Um, again, one more time, why not subscribe, like, click the bell, leave a comment, please. Uh, let me know if you like this. If you didn't like this, if you, if you think it was shit, let me know. Um, if you don't like my commentary, let me know. Um, but again, yeah, thanks for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed this, and I hope that you watched the uh, Moxley and Omega match. I uh, hope it lives up to the hype that, that's being built around it because it's kind of intense at this moment. Um, but again, go to Facebook, find fan cam commentary on there, like the page, follow the page, help me out on there as well as we continue to grow this brand. Um, yeah, thank you again, folks. I'll see you next time.